15 women total suffered those rare blood clots out of nearly 7 million doses, among them an 18 year old from Clark County. More guidance will be given to doctors for questions or reporting. The Southern Nevada Health District says you might not have an option of a different vaccine for your choice at a public site if there's limited supply available. Doctors now say the chance of these blood clots is seven out of a million doses. The case still rattles, though, a local doctor who treated the Clark County teenager who remains in the hospital tonight. Only on Fox 5, the infectious disease specialist explains his concerns while a federal panel maintains that the chance of this happening is rare. Well, it was horrible. I think everyone, everyone that took care of the patient, the entire team, uh, was very upset. 18-year-old Emma Berkey is a babysitter, a student at Coral Academy and volunteers for her church's ministry. And as infectious disease specialist Dr. Brian Lippman explains, she was a healthy teenage girl. She got her first Johnson & Johnson shot around the start of April. She was rushed to St. Rose Siena campus after seizures and blood clots in her brain. She's still being treated at a California hospital. Dr. Lippman says her condition was astonishing. It was finally when we uh, obtained all the lab data that uh, showed she had the low platelet count. We recognized that this was very similar to what was being reported in Europe with the AstraZeneca vaccine. Uh, that's when it, it all sort of fell together. This was a previously completely healthy 18-year-old female uh, with no medical conditions whatsoever. Uh, whose life has been probably irreversibly altered. Not only her, but her entire family. Friday, a CDC panel again reviewed Berkey's case, one of 15 cases in women out of 6.8 million doses. The panel urged vaccine use to continue with a warning for doctors to be on the lookout. A CDC doctor says a few dozen cases may emerge among millions more doses, but 1,400 lives could be saved from COVID-19. The American public should understand that there is a risk, that it's an exceedingly rare risk, but that this is a common virus and a virus which has done a lot of harm that can be prevented by a vaccine. It's not like this is the only vaccine available. Dr. Lippman disagrees with the FDA's decision and believes there should be more restrictions to protect young people and women more prone to autoimmune disease. Put yourself in their, in their place. Put yourself in her place. Put yourself in the place of her mother and her father. It's just not a number. Dr. Lippman says he and other doctors hit phone call roadblocks when they were urgently trying to reach out to the FDA and Johnson & Johnson for how they could treat Emma. Today, the vaccine company and the FDA promised more help and easier hotlines for doctors and a warning not to treat with blood thinners. Those actually made several patients' conditions worse. And we do have an update on Emma tonight. Support flooding into the GoFundMe page. Her family is sharing that Emma is speaking without a valve, continuing that her memory and language are perfect and eye movement is improving. You can find a link to the GoFundMe on our website, fox5vegas.com.